my very dear Sarah the indications are very strong that we shall move in a few days perhaps tomorrow lest I should not be able to write you again I feel impelled to write lines that may fall under your eye when I shall be no more our movement may be one of a few days duration and it may be one of severe conflict and death to me if it is necessary that I should fall on the battlefield for my country I am ready I have no misgivings about or lack of confidence in the cause in which I am engaged and my courage does not halt or falter I know how strongly American civilization now leans upon the triumph of the government and how great a debt we owe to those who went before us through the blood and suffering of the revolution and I am willing perfectly willing to lay down all my joys in this life to help maintain this government and to pay that debt but my dear wife I cannot describe to you my feelings on this calm summer night when 2,000 men are sleeping around me many of them enjoying their last perhaps before that of death and I suspicious that death is creeping behind me with his fatal dart and communing with God my country and you Sarah my love for you is deathless it seems to bind me to you with mighty cables that nothing but the omnipotence could break and yet my love of country comes over me like a strong wind and bears me irresistibly on with these chains to the battlefield the memories of blissful moments I've spent with you come creeping over me and hard it is for me to give them up Sarah do not mourn me dead think I am gone and wait for thee for we shall meet again come to me and lead thither my children Sullivan and on July 21st 1861 the regiment took part in the first battle of Bull Run and as one of the senior officers Sullivan went in front on horseback to direct his men and he was hit by a cannonball that tore off his right leg and also killed his horse and he died from his wound a week after the battle while a prisoner of the Confederate Army at age 32.